Welcome back, everyone. Today we'll be continuing our coverage of the FE Mathematics Differential Equations section by solving a first-order differential equation problem using the steps outlined here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is evaluate the differential equation that's given. And we can see we have an equation, and then we have initial conditions that are provided. And if categorization is something that's not familiar to you yet, check out our video on differential equation categorization. But we can see that we have a derivative taken with respect to a single variable, dt. So this is an ordinary differential equation. The derivatives are not raised to a power, and they're not embedded in another function. So this is linear. Our highest order derivative is our first here. So this is indeed a first order differential equation. Our coefficients are both scalars. So we have constant coefficients. And our forcing function over here is zero, so this equation is homogeneous. So now that we've categorized the equation, we can go to the section in the FE handbook that covers this categorization, and I've copied it here. So you can see we've used our categorization exactly as we showed it, first order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, and the handbook will guide you through how to solve. So first thing to do is put the equation into this format, and then for first order, go directly to this solution. So first, let's put everything into this format. First thing we'll notice is that there is no coefficient in front of our highest derivative in this first order differential equation, whereas in our equation, we do have a two in front of that first order derivative. So in order to do that, get rid of that, we'll have to divide that two out, so we'll be left with dy dt minus 3y equals 0. And all we're doing is just dividing every term here by 2. And now we've gotten rid of that coefficient in front of dy dt, and we can very easily just write this as y prime minus 3y equals 0 to get our formatting correct. So now that we have that correct, we can go right to the solution format. And that's given here in the handbook. It's quite simple. C is our constant. We're going e to the negative at. And if we do a comparison, we can see that our a term is this negative 3. So negative a will give us 3t. So now we have the format of our solution for our homogeneous equation. And this final step is once we have that format, now in some problems if you don't have initial conditions this might be as far as you can go, but if you have initial conditions you can solve this a little further, we can figure out what that c value is. So we see here that we're given that when t equals 0, y equals 4. So if we just substitute in, we can say 4 equals ce to the 3 times 0, and this will equal ce to the 0. 3 times 0 is still 0, and e to the 0 is 1. You could put that in your calculator. So therefore, c equals 4. So our final solution will be y equals 4e to the 3t. And again, to recap, we first categorized the differential equation. We use that categorization to go to the handbook and find how to solve it. We put everything into the format that the handbook suggested. We determine our homogeneous solution, and then we determined our coefficients based on our initial conditions. Enjoying these videos? Follow the links in the description below to find out how you can reach out for personal tutoring, like and subscribe to get notified when new videos drop, and comment with suggestions for future topics. 